If you're out stargazing this fall, you may notice a small sparkling cluster rising just above the constellation of Orion. It's one of the most famous star groups in the night sky, sometimes called the Seven Sisters. Storm Tracker 16 meteorologist Jeremy Lawan has more on the science and stories behind these star siblings. <laughs> High above the horizon on crisp autumn nights, a shimmering cluster of blue-hued stars begins to appear. Known as the Pleiades, or Seven Sisters, these stars have been celebrated in myths and calendars for thousands of years. The Pleiades mark more than just a beautiful sight. Their return to the night sky around late October has long signaled the changing seasons. For ancient cultures, their arrival near Halloween was seen as a celestial sign that winter was coming. The cluster is part of the constellation Taurus the Bull and lies more than 400 light years from Earth. Despite having over a thousand stars, only six or seven are typically visible to the naked eye. The ancient Greeks imagined them as sisters, the daughters of Atlas, the titan who held up the sky, and Pleione, the goddess who watched over sailors. Indigenous groups from the Americas to Australia wove them into seasonal legends. The ancient Celtic festival of Samhain, which marked the thinning of the veil between the living and the dead, was closely linked to the Pleiades. The star cluster reached its peak around October 31st, the same time as Samhain, which later evolved into what we celebrate today as Halloween. The Pleiades will shine through the winter months, best seen into the evening, but they'll be visible through April, so there's still plenty of time to spot them. As the ghouls and goblins roam the streets this Halloween, remember, the ghosts of the past wrote the stories, but the sisters still guide us tonight. Jeremy Lewan, Newswatch 16.